voices. Where am I? before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam. But the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, Art Teacher. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all it. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. My, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. All right, now it's open. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received. We're all After spending so much time reading no, this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat, and be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days, then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hodgson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just 
miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. A carving tool. This box, CW, those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. It works. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journey. Ah, oh, it's 
been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But this I have to do it a with you, old pal. Technique. There's another symbol inside it. This is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river, then. Motorboat. It's gone. And I had my luggage in it. All my things gone. And the tide was so weak, it couldn't have carried the boat away. What happened here?
long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Fascinating. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. They're composed of four pieces. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. A farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to what happen, he'd never have come here. Craftsmanship. Something's missing here. They use the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. It's been ripped out of something else. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Got it. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. The 
secret compartment. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up. How... how is that possible? What fascinating technology. Oh, oh my! Oh my goodness, what happened here? Black ooze again. Skin alterations. Heavens, he's losing his mind. Cripes, this man was splat. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look all too familiar. Is this a picture of my hand? Erythrocytes. Ugh, I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. Is this stone structure a hatch of some sort? Well then. I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? This eye... Is it calling to me? I hear whispering. I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. Oh, the whispering, it... it stopped. Was I imagining all that? You were close to something here, Harry. Well, this looks like another job by Henry. Maybe he heard the whispers too. It depicts a ritual of some sort. What are they doing to their eyes? How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. Well, that was easy. This should save some time.
Hmm. I believe this symbol means humble gawker of glamorous indie games. Brilliant. This strange device, Harry. I think I solved it. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. It fits. What? What on earth? What is happening? My god. What? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? Press these star shaped tiles. Right, looks like I solved it. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Holy Moses, what... what is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... no, no, no! Breathe underwater. 
I have to get back. I, I have to find... What is that? What kind of creature is this? I need to get a closer look. so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to him? I'm terrified. I've always been afraid of storms, but something or someone seems to be moving there on the reefs. Or is it just my imagination? Oh my god. The ship's hull was a few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. Recording. These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. down those numbers in my journal. Damn it. Braddy! 
And what were those beasts that attacked them? At last, some light. That should make things easier. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. He's repairing my old music box. What happened on this ship? My God, look at his contorted face. Is this... Those footprints definitely do not look human. is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rock? I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my own. Photographic film. Taylor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. Certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, this feels ominous. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. Some kind of improvised workshop. This must be the highest part of the island. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. So this is the reason the ship. What kind of machine were you? What kind of machine were you building? Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used.
It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. I think this is the right one. Oh, well. That cartoon was unexpected and inexplicable. Well, that cartoon was unexpected and inexplicable. I I've never seen Harry so angry. You always did have a good ear. How can someone build something like this out of stone? A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is... Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys. Wow, look at the size of these stones. What kind of doodad is this? It's well tuned. I expected no less from you, old pal. to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense.
My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always. Harry. My poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. Wow. Let's see what the next one does. That was quite a hike. I'm at the top of the mountain. I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. These drops of rain are so refreshing. It feels really good. Are these figures singing like a choir? All this? Just with pieces from the beached ship? Frank sure must be a real whiz. Harry is convinced the... Nakal? They built loudspeakers on top of... His low spirits are obvious and... Oh no! Frank died. So Frank fought in the Great War. Oh, Frank had a daughter named Evangeline. There are some sort of 
sound devices built around this amphitheater. So I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. One, two, one, two, testing. Nope, doesn't work. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. No power. There's a symbol inside. I like singing so much. Harry and I often sang together. When my condition... Heavens, looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents. All but one. Did these stone columns just vibrate? Amazing. The hatches are opening. Now the wheel is moving. These levers connect those gears to direct the wheel's energy into the turbine. easy. These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. That should give the turbine some energy. Great! I did it. Now everything should be powered. A Bible. It must have belonged to... Sorry about Frank. Harry doesn't have many friends. When you finally do get to know him, he's so witty, so funny. A loving person. But it takes a lot for him to open up. Did I do something wrong? Come on, work. Come on. Yes. Now what? What's happening this time? Where am I? I 
feel the fever rise. Oh God, no. My illness. Is it coming back? Was this an ocean? An ocean that dried up? No, I would rather die than use that damned thing again. The air is so dry. I need to find water. How many times did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. The horseshoe-shaped pillar and that diamond shape again. I can't take much more of this. I feel woozy. Is that... a house? That's not a house. That's our house in Englewood. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? Harry? Uh, are you home? I miss you so much, old pal. I am definitely losing my mind. I don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you... My mother's music box. Cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. Harry gave me this necklace after one of It's a photo of my mother and me. The happiest day of my life. The Everheart twosome. What a sweet melody. box again, but I'm not going back up there. The fuse box is already providing electricity to this entire setup. Song since I got sick, but let's give it a shot.
was quite a show. This feels like hallowed ground. Are they bathing him? Are they bathing him? In black ooze? His hands are changing, like in my dream. Look at those spots. They look like mine. Now he's some sort of man fish? Fish of every size and shape. A giant fish head made of stone. This looks like the same kind of elevator that was in. <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. She sounds worried for him. Where is this taking me? Looks like I'm inside the giant fish head that I saw from below. It's amazing how words and symbols can keep their meaning up. Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not deciphering this? Or because of a broken liquor bottle? Is this Harry's? He hates booze. Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not deciphering this? Or because of what he discovered when he did? Harry marked this symbol for a reason. I'd better write it down. I've seen this symbol in the mural several times. John McCall. Well done, Harry. Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things. This one was really hard to figure out. I'm starting to understand this language. So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. God's blood. Does... Well, this one was easy, I think. My dear old pal, Nora, I wish I could write something else, but a long time ago I promised you I would never lie to you. So here goes. There is no cure for your illness. What you carry in your blood is changing you, and it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life. I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, DeWitt, Roy. All for nothing. Maybe Te Haro is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papiete. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? But he didn't finish the letter. What did you do, Harry? Where are you? I know for sure that you didn't go back home, so what... What do I do now? Are you still on the island? A I have to find you. Pattern.
this is the right combination. It appears Harry didn't advance any further. Those are drums of some sort. for him, so it shouldn't work for me either. Unless there's something different about my hand. Anyway, Nora, you know what you've got to do. <gasps> my hands! Look at my hands! This is definitely not a dream, and I'm starting to doubt the others were dreams, too. I should be scared, but it's hard to explain what I feel, but it isn't fear. Not a bit. Another one of those gates, like the one I saw in the temple. I'm back to being me. It's hard for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? by underground currents. That architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? What a quiet... 
quiet and peculiar place. I wonder who used to live here. Understood that. We are, we slaves, masters of our culture. Heaven, slaves and masters, and although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Someone vandalized this mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I bet to draw them just in case. Is that quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago? I feel connected to... How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Black blood in eyes, like in the well. Water animal. Is that what I am now?
This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful, but dangerous. The danger does not seem to affect me, though. of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. They rebelled against their masters. The slaves seemed to worship two gods. are dedicated to two figures. I can hear them talking to me. Isn't this the tiara from... Uh, wait, I... I can't remember the name of my hometown. Creatures are immortal? We the sunken continent. Was that their punishment? has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness.
Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. These creatures live like slaves, all their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? Now I can enter this tunnel. It's over now. That ladder. Someone set up camp in here. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? This, 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 oh my god. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. A sanctuary. Oh dear, poor people. So the guide left. My dear old pal, it's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. 
He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Oh, Harry, fool. that look on your face. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. She doesn't seem to care much. This panel looks different from the others. It's much more elaborate. This must be my transportation to the sanctuary. sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here, as menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures, they're just defending themselves, like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition, like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat, and I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Everything seems so distant now, as if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. A full moon? It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time, or... Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Englewood and... everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. 
my illness. That will be as before, too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. The feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood, or Boston, or Newburyport. I mean... How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Sanctuary. So is this where you went, Harry? Was this your last stop? Another camp. Although it's little more than a few things scattered about. My dear old pal. I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, but she's just mad. Obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I... Th I have to think it over. I can't. I... Uh, t tomorrow Leave it for tomorrow, damn it. Stop writing. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does? What it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? Harry, what is this? It looks like the ramblings of a madman. A library? It was the blood of these... Heavens. Goodness, and the gun barrel is empty. Trail of blood. Someone was hurt. There's a bullet hole in here. A woman's earring stained with blood. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger... So I... Sleep in his tent. What a creepy. A camera. You must. Let's give it a try. Ouch! Oh! Ow. Ah. What was that? Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. syringe has traces of black black ooze on a petri dish <laughs> these patterns look too familiar oh, I really hope this works
he's behind that door. I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who... Different doors with different symbols. All these papers are riddled with ink. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Those stone statues. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. They carried these people here to test them, like a challenge of some sort. Where is this door leading me? A shining constellation. I better draw it. It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What the stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? Hmm, an eye and a star. Look at the stars, maybe. Circular stones with strange carved... These icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have on my hand. them to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Ah! The second also hurts. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. This place is like a labyrinth. They were submerged in black ichor.
Mary seems to be on the brink of madness. But I... I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Oh, come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? I think I can feel the agony of the slaves. They're and the effects of their transformation. It's horrifying. Black and white figures.
Good doggies. Or dragons. Whatever you are. That's the creature I saw in my dreams. He's holding on to a gigantic black stone monolith. Come on. One more time. Was that a vision to another world or a vision of the future?
open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. disturbing mirror is it made of black icon I, I feel like it is speaking to me oh heavens to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock, or a music box. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Dignity, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. 
Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. A lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. key just appeared out of the blue. This key just appeared out of the blue. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the Igor. Connected with the Elder God.
Nago. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal.